everybody it's j crew time and we are going to start with prayer so if you could bow your heads and close your eyes and we will begin lord god we thank you and we bless you for this day god god i pray lord god over the minds of the families and the children as they learn god that they would receive the word that you would have for them today god that it would grow in their hearts and in their minds and in their spirits, God. That you would remove any distraction, anything that would hinder them from focusing on your word and praying together as a family, God. I pray, Lord God, for the families in this new season of going to school that many of our families are going virtual and they're learning how to balance a lot of things, God. I pray, Lord God, that you would give our families peace, that you would give them wisdom, you would give them the knowledge, Lord God, and you would give them the understanding of how to do things and when to do them, God. I pray, Lord God, that each individual would be diligent, God, that they would work hard in this season, God, to help one another grow as a family, God. Lord God, I pray I had your protection around them, God, that you would heal anybody that is sick today, God, and that, God, they would love you in a greater way because you love them, God. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, it's time for worship. Bye-bye. See you in a little bit.
Hi everybody, it is challenge time and guess what? I'm in my kitchen to explain to you what your challenge is this week. So you have two choices. The first one is to cook a meal as a family, specifically spaghetti, but if you don't like spaghetti, you could cook something else. And then your second challenge is to create a to-do list of one thing that you're gonna do every day and mark it on a piece of paper and give yourself a smiley face for when you do it. Now I'm in my kitchen because I told you you'll be cooking, right? You're gonna need to cook as a family and use the stove. You're gonna need some pots to be able to cook and obviously the ingredients. I don't know where everybody else has their ingredients, but some of those ingredients are gonna be in the refrigerator if you're using ground beef or meatballs. And then obviously go into your pantry and find your spaghettis. I got lasagna noodles, I got manicotti noodles, and like pasta for kid noodles. That might be what Leia wants to use this week when we're cooking. All right, so that is just giving you a little tour of Sister Merle's kitchen to get you ready for you to be in your kitchen for cooking this week. And then your chore list. This is Leia's beautiful schedule, all right? It's a little bit different now because she started school. So when she wakes up, she does her prayers. She uses the bathroom breakfast. And then this is actually school time, no longer play time, all right? So I'm not saying make a schedule like this, but you could, you could do that. Um, but the challenge really is to pick something on your to-do list. Like this is all the stuff Leia does, right? Every day. She needs to pick something that she really doesn't like to do. Like, oh, let's see. Put away her toys right here. And she's gonna practice putting away her toys every single day and being diligent, all right? So those are your challenges that you can choose from. And then there's a very, very special challenge. And that challenge is for you to pray for five minutes a day. Put a timer on and practice praying and your parents will tell you a little bit more about what kind of prayer you'll be doing. All right, see you in a bit. Are you guessing it right now? 
Now I'm not running from that. You know what I'm running from? All the things I have to do. You don't hear them making noise. They're calling for me to come do them. I don't want to do them, no! <gasps> shh, shh, that's why I'm telling you to be quiet. They're calling me to come do them and I don't want to do them. Okay, guys, I'm going to ask God to help me to do them. Do you think he's going to help me? Did you say yes? Okay, on the count of three, say yes. You can do it, Sister Morel. One, two, three. Yes, you can do it, Sister Morel. Okay, okay. All right. Now, I know I'm just being a little bit funny, but sometimes that's what we do in our spirits. There's things that God wants us to do that we're running from. So what are the things that Sister Morel runs from? Doing, runs from doing. That means I don't want to do them. Sometimes it's the dishes. You see, I got some dishes in there that need to be clean. Sometimes it's things like bags I need to get rid of. Like, oh my goodness, I have this bag in my kitchen that are all stuffed animals that I'm supposed to be taking with me to work and I don't do it. Oh, here's another thing that I need to do that I haven't done yet. I gotta get rid of this box of clothes. Okay, so I went through them, but I never finished doing what I was supposed to do with them. So, why am I sharing all of that with you? Your icebreaker for today is to take a piece of paper and make a T-chart. And there's an example in the lesson. So, you're going to make a T-chart and you're going to put things I like to help with and things I don't like to help with. And you're going to draw pictures of things that you like to help with and things that you don't like to help with or things that you like to do around the house or things you don't. It can even include the stuff that you like to do for school. Maybe you like to be with your classmates online and then maybe you don't like to do the work. Those are examples, all right? So you're gonna get time to do that and talk about it, all right? And then to help you with your challenge for the week, if you choose to do this challenge, pick one of those things that you don't like to do and then practice it every single day doing it because this week, this month's theme is about being diligent, all right? And being diligent, we can learn from the ant the Bible says. You know, the ant doesn't have a boss, but when you see an ant, they're always on the move. You, sometimes you see them carrying food on their back to take it back to the colony. Well, nobody has to tell them what to do. They do what they're supposed to do, all right, to help their colony. So that's what you need to do this week. If you choose that challenge, pick something where you can be diligent in and you can help your family and they don't have to tell you to do anything. All right, so there's your icebreaker for your T-chart and it gets you ready to do your challenge for the week. All right, God bless you. Have a good time with your family now.